Now, this is uh, uh, one of the great stories, that the kind of thing we'd love to, talk, to write about and talk about. Viktor Orban, this is uh, actually a couple of weeks ago, but in recent speech, uh, Viktor Orban said, mixing between Europeans was acceptable, but Europeans mixing with non-Europeans created mixed-race people, and that wasn't acceptable. We are willing to mix with one another, but we do not want to become people <coughs> of mixed race, said Viktor Orban. And for those who do not know, he is the, uh, is he president or prime minister of Hungary? President. He's president, yes. He added that countries where this has happened are, un this is unacceptable because these are no longer nations. His speech was given at an event in Romania where he traditionally makes an annual keynote address. And this prompted immediate backlash, as we can imagine. Now, he is supposed to go to a <coughs> CPAC. And uh, the CPAC, August 4th, that's tomorrow. He's to give the opening address. And his appearance will come after a lengthy address he gave to CPAC Hungary in May, the first ever CPAC conference in Europe. Fox News host Tucker Carlson also broadcast from Hungary's capital Budapest for a week in 2021 and delivered an address by video link to CPAC Hungary in May. Now, Donald Trump uh, very much endorsed his uh, re-election. That was about uh, less than a year ago. And uh, it'll be very interesting to see whether a guy who says, we don't want to mix, we Europeans want to stay European. Just what the CPAC uh, welcome will be. Also speaking at the conference in Dallas, Aug 4 through 7, will be former President Donald Trump, who endorsed his April bid for re-election and urged Hungarian voters to give him another term. Now, Orban and his party won a resounding election. Among the people who decried his remarks was our anti-Semitism envoy, Deborah Lipstadt. She called his remarks. He says, we, uh, he says it's awful that he says we do not want to become peoples of mixed race. Now, what that has to do with fighting anti-Semitism, I do not know. But he's still slated to speak, despite the backlash, and conference organizer Matt Schlapp recently told Bloomberg News, let's listen to the man speak. Now, Matt Schlapp is not exactly a man with much backbone. No, courage is not a word that's synonymous with anything <laughs> no, 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 that CPAC no. has ever done or no. anything that that, that individual has uh, no. has governed over and managed. So this no. is... He's, this is Yeah, he's quite a scaredy cat. But, I, I, uh, I mean, Mr. Taylor, you go back to what Charlie Kirk tweeted when he got back on Twitter. Uh, talked about, you know... White people explicitly, and yeah. what's happening? And he taught. I mean, it's we're we're entering a new yes, era, and it are. is uncharted, and we don't know where it's going to go because the ability for the gatekeepers to restrict conversations it's over. I know where it's going to go. We're going to win. So don't forget. <laughs> I, I hate to say it. I <laughs> I think in a lot of ways we already have one. It's just. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just we're not at that point yet where the the um, the pieces have to be picked up and put together. And there, the, when, the, when the when the when the master when the when the people are ready, the master will appear. And Mr. Taylor, that's mm. been you for far too long. They're ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been ready for far too long.